are glorious when you've got the upper claw. Fire! Charge! Ah! I'll cut these gates to splinters. <laughs> no beast can destroy my shank. Martin, you two alert all the others. Right, Miss Rosie. <sighs> Martin, this isn't working. We must retreat and regroup. Come on, we need a proper plan of attack. Retreat, retreat, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> When you think they're running away, they'll be... Uh, uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Don't listen to that old fool. His brains are in his clogs. See that every beast gets extra rations in celebration of our victory. Gather the Council of Chieftains. I'll draw up the plan for them. Good work, Brom. Good to see you again. Martin! Rose! He's here! Brom! Rose! Oh, Brom! I thought I'd never see you again. We said we'd come back, and we have. All of us. We'll go in over the walls on two sides when night falls. Boldred and the Warden will drop this down the side of the north wall. Ooh. And Bala, you'll take the pygmy shrews and the hedgehogs over the top. Meanwhile, the Gaw tribe and the otters will scale the south mm. wall. Roanoke, will the wheels on that thing still turn? I think we can get it rolling, but it won't go far, Martin. It won't have to, just as far as the gates. Loaded with burning grass and wood, it should keep Badrang occupied. I'll give you a paw with that, Roanoke. Good. You can both help me push it when the time comes. Maybe Rose and Balor, too. We'll attack after sunset. Rest until then. A dear friend, a brave warrior, and a creature who fought for freedom. <laughs> We shall continue his fight in his honor and rid this land of the beasts that took Feldo from us. Bugs was right, mate. I can see them trying to fix up that cart. <laughs> Betcha they'll be gone by morning. Uh, I'm gonna take a little snooze, keep watch, then you can have second nap. Parang is the great evil one, mate, leading you to your doom. <laughs> I've got a nice dark hole waiting for ya. You. You'll never live to get Rise and shine, bro. Time for you to get the troops up and ready. For what you said about Feldo last night, he was as much a hero to me as you are. Me? A hero? What for? For bringing these creatures together. I knew you were fearless when I saw you the first time. Stretched out on Marshank's walls, 
You swore then that you would return to slay Badrang. And here you are, with your own army. You're a hero to each of them, Martin. And you're a hero to me. Lead us into battle, Martin the Warrior. For luck. Tension! better work. It's your plan, Martin the Warrior. It's bound to work. Uh, Fire! <laughs> Go away! <gasps> ah! Oh, what a horrible dream! bad for a peace lover. Sometimes you just have to fight fire with fire. So come on, Rose. Let's burn that ring. <laughs> Slop it! The gates are burning! Get sand and water and put the blaze out! Cross to. Take some beasts to cover the north wall. Flee, Bane! You take the south wall! <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Bad rank wins. I'm not defeated. Marshank cannot fall. No. It's the ghost of that mouse. Come to haunt me. Fortress, but not for long. You can help me get out of here, or you'll die trying. to 
be easier than I thought. Flat snout! <laughs> Fox, wanna try fly away? Running away? We should give him a hand, Ember. Oh. Oh, me goody good fly, teacher. <laughs> 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 Drop your sword, mouse! Oh, this little lovely will never squeak again! That one wins! In the end... <laughs> See the warrior. <laughs> I warned you this sword belonged to my father. Now, finally, I have it back. Rose? Rose! Dear Rose, please, please be all right. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh, no. Miss Rosie? <laughs> Upon my father's sword, I swear, I shall never fight with it again. This is all my fault. If I had stayed at Noonbale and not gone wandering, she'd still be alive. There, there, old lad. There's only one beast to blame for all this, and that's Badrang. Thanks to you, Martin. The evil has gone from this land forever. We ain't putting fallen uns to rest. <laughs> we should do the same for Miss Rosie. This dreadful place brings nothing but sorrow to our hearts. We must leave. The sooner, the better. We stood on this very spot when she kissed me. And I realized that I loved her. Those who have no home to go to will be welcome in mine. But it is a peaceful place, so put aside your weapons if you wish to go with me to Noonvale.
I said I'd be one day. Oh. Get out of it, you demon feather man! Oh, Bane. <laughs> so you didn't join your old captain to dig graves now, are ya? <laughs> Groster! I always said you should have sided with me. Never mind, mate. I'll bite your snug birth. <laughs> ah! Not a warrior who was more than a match for you, eh? Where's your dreams of empires now, you swan? On the side of a hill When the summer is peaceful and high Where streamlets meander the valley is still Neath the blue of a calm cloudless sky Look for me at dawn When the earth is asleep Till each dewdrop is kissed by the day Neath the rowan and alder I'll vigil, I'll keep Every moment that you are away The earth gently turns as the seasons change slowly All the flowers and leaves Born to wane Hear my song o'er the lea Like the wind soft and lowly And come back to Noonvale again oh, It's been hard for Martin He never mentions dear Rose She be locked in Martin's art And there she bound to stay Huh? I am leaving today. Will you be coming with us to Noonvale? I can never return to Noonvale. The memory of Rose will linger too strong. I have decided to travel south, alone. But where be you going? What be you going to do, Martin? I must follow my own path. Have no fear. I will never speak of Noonvale or of you. Will you never tell our tale? Never. Noonvale is a secret place untouched by evil, and so it will remain. We will never forget you, Martin the Warrior. And you will all, always be in my heart. Come on. Let's see if we can make this place ring one last time with the old war cry. The, the Fire and Freedom, freedom fighters. fighters! For all seasons and forever, every beast shall remember thy name. Martin E. Warrior. Visit us in Noonvale whenever you want. Bello, lead us into a song. Brave Martin the warrior brought peace unto the land. His army stood next to him, his sword held in his hand. Sweet Rose gave her life so he could carry on the cause. Forever we shall think of them and sing them our applause. And so it was that Martin the Warrior said goodbye to his friends for the very last time. Ever shadowed by the loss of his love, he resolved to dedicate his life to bringing peace to woodlanders everywhere. Martin found peace and happiness when he founded our order and built Redwall Abbey. Here it will stand for all time in memory of Rose of Noonvale and Martin the Warrior and their brave battle against evil. We know all this because long ago, travelers came here from Noonvale. They brought a sprig of the rose that Grum planted on Rose's grave. It flourished in our gardens, and because it blooms later than the others, we call it the Late Rose. It is very sturdy. And please remember, if one day you happen to be passing Redwall Abbey, be sure to visit us.